Next on Fox, a fire in Hillsboro this evening quickly engulfed around 80 acres, tearing through a local hazelnut orchard. Fox 12's Julia Lopez was there as the flames picked up. She joins us live now from the scene with more. So, Julia, what are you seeing? Well, right now it's gotten pretty quiet, but out here in Hillsboro, there are many farms, homes, and small businesses where people spent the afternoon terrified. Earlier, we were watching flames move through the acres behind me off of Southwest Laurel Road, and I talked with some neighbors doing anything they could to protect their property. When, like, grass gets dry and it just goes, and there's no really stopping it. About a quarter to three Sunday afternoon, Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue crews responded to a two-acre fire near a hazelnut grove in Hillsboro. It didn't take long, though, for the fire to engulf 80 acres. Here's a time lapse of how fast this fire moved in just 15 seconds. I was driving down the road and saw I saw a little bit of smoke, so I looked over and I pulled over, and the combine was on fire, which, I mean, I've been growing up working on equipment my entire life. It's just hot engines and dry grain. It starts fires, so it happens. Gunnar Ochoa lives down the road from Filbert's Hazelnut Orchards and jumped in with his neighbors, trying anything they could to help each other and keep the flames away. Okay, the fire truck. It's pretty scary. It's just how stuff works, so there's nothing really I could do about it. I was knocking on doors, asking people if they needed their dogs taken somewhere, if they needed stuff being moved, so all you can do is help. Those living nearby were just hoping the fire, still contained to the field and orchard, wouldn't reach anyone's homes. They were scared. The women were crying. The guys were outside with their hoses spraying off the grass and trying to get their stuff together. But they were just super panicked and it was pretty chaos. There's all these people with their hoses. They're trying to, like, cool it down. But from what he said, he used to do wildland firefighting. And they said that that doesn't really do much, unfortunately. There's not really much to do other than hope that the firemen are able to keep it contained. Neighbors also raced to get nearby animals safe. On my way over here, there was horses being loaded in trailers, and there's a horse running down the street because it got spooked from the flame. Thankfully, about two hours later, an official with TVFR says the fire was mostly under control, with no one reported hurt and no loss of buildings. He says if it wasn't for a quick response, the damage could have been a lot worse. The temperature, uh, a little bit of breeze, the humidity, all the dryness have all contributed to the fast-moving pace of this fire. Crews stayed for several hours today putting out hotspots and working to determine an official cause. They're reminding everyone to be cautious that, as we saw today, fires can start and move quickly in the hot, dry conditions that we'll be seeing this week. Live from Hillsboro, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon. Julia, 